In this day and age, depression seems to run rampant. So many turn to prescription drugs to put a band-aid on their feelings of hopelessness, despondency, and sadness. But often, depression is a phase of our lives, a product of circumstance, and not a chemical imbalance, for which there seems to be no real cure. For those, I truly believe that training their minds to focus on those things for which they are thankful can make a huge difference in their lives. A change of perspective can change your life, I believe this. Whenever I feel down, I look to my Bible or my dogs, my cat, the roof over my head, the clothes I have to wear, the food in the pantry, the car I have to drive, the shower to which I can avail myself on a daily basis, the indoor plumbing in general, heat in the winter and so on. If I sat around and focused on the fact that I am a diabetic, or that I have other miscellaneous issues, I would probably feel so sad so much of the time, but I don't do that. At some point in my life, I train myself to focus on those things for which I am thankful, and praise the Lord, it never fails to blow the clouds away. God is so good to us, and it's really hard to feel sad when you're thanking our Lord and Savior for all the great things He's given us in life. Here are some of my favorite Bible verses reminding us of the importance of gratitude. Try to remember these when you're feeling down. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Romans chapter 5 verses 3 through 5. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. James chapter 1 verses 1 through 4. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James chapter 1 verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Thank you for watching today. I pray this is a blessing and a help to you. The Lord bless and keep you until next time.